Hello once again, this is Robert here. Well, here it is. This is Apple's new MagSafe battery pack. This thing will actually supply power to the back of your iPhone 12, which doesn't matter which one of the 12 series it is, and that'll keep you from ending up with a dead battery and not being able to make calls or have emergency contact or whatever it is. So, no need to do an unboxing. I've already unboxed this. You've seen that from a bunch of videos. Basically, this is the little pack here. It's pretty lightweight. Now, I am charging it with the uh, lightning cable because it does come pretty much dead, no battery power. But it really doesn't take that long to charge this. In a matter of about, let's say, less than 20 minutes, I've already got it almost to 50%. So it does charge pretty fast. I am using a 20-watt uh, USB-C charging cable, so it does charge pretty quick. And I've already pretty much tested it with my iPhone, so it does connect like this, see? And it holds pretty strong. And you can see right here already it's showing 56%. So I like that. It shows up right here in your in your battery widget. You can always check the battery power. At the same time, it is charging the iPhone as well. So I do like the fact that you have two lightning ports on the bottom, which I have a feeling with that. And my thought is that if Apple gets rid of the lightning port for the iPhone, with the next iPhone or the one after that, this will be the way that you can still use your lightning cables to charge your iPhone or to do anything else. So I have a feeling that this battery pack is intentional in that sense. So Apple can get rid of the lightning port for the iPhones. This will be used sort of as a lightning port type of charger. They might even change it to USB-C, I doubt it. But I have to charge this thing up fully to give it a full test, see exactly how it works. My review, like I said, is going to be unbiased towards Apple. It's just going to be an honest review. I have gone through a ton of other battery packs and battery chargers. I mean, up to 10,000 um, megabits or whatever they call that, uh, milliamps. And hardly any of them has been able to be efficient with my iPhones to really get me to a good charge. So I'm really going to put this one to a test. I like the way that Apple's charger syncs with the iPhone. So that's the main reason that I, I like it. And I'm probably going to end up getting a second one because I always carry chargers and cables with me everywhere I go. So this, I think, is going to be a very good benefit. But I'm going to go ahead and charge it up, test it out for a couple of days, and I'll come back here and let you guys know what my true thoughts are, what I truly feel, exactly how fast does it charge the phone, especially a 12 Pro Max, and then... I can give you guys the decision. Uh, what do you want to do? Is, is it worth it to buy? Is it not worth buying? Do you need to wait? Will Apple come up with a second generation later? That's something that is, is your decision to make up. But I'm going to put it to the test. I only just got it, so I've got to let it charge up. And uh, we'll go from there. But I want to give you guys a review, not to say don't buy it or yes, buy it. I want to put it to the test first. Now, if you really love Apple products, Go ahead. This will help you out. If you've got a smaller iPhone than an iPhone 12 Pro Max, yeah, you're going to need it. And I have a feeling that it will work well, and I have a feeling that not only hardware updates, but I think with software updates, I think this thing will actually work much, much better. So that is my sort of unboxing review of the Apple's MagSafe battery pack. And so once I put it through the test, I'll give you guys a better review here tell you what I think, and then you can make your decision from there. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you later with more videos as they come out.